Merry Christmas. Welcome to What to Watch with Your Popcorn. I am Rob. And I am Dave. And to add to the Christmas spirit, we're going to be reviewing the movie Bad Santa starring Billy Bob Thornton, John Ritter, and Bernie Mac. So, Dave, go ahead and tell everybody what, what the movie's about. Bad Santa is about two men that are scam artists. During the Christmas season, they pose as Santa, an elf, at the shopping mall. Uh, to take pictures of the kids and also to make people think that they're that they're honest hard-working people but little do people know that when the mall closes at night the first thing they do is hit the safe downstairs in the basement and take all the money from it and then and then hop on the road to the next town and then they lay low until the following year while working at a mall in Phoenix Arizona this one kid that comes to see Billy Bob Thornton as Santa Claus ends up somewhat befriending Billy Bob and offers to let him stay with him and his grandma in his home since his parents are not there. I thought Billy Bob Thornton was really good in this movie. He played how he played Santa Claus and he and he also played a uh, a guy that's an alcoholic chain smoker who who tries his best to keep his cool around his partner. Tony Cox, who a black short person with a foul mouth. This movie is definitely not for everybody. Due to its raunchy amount of swearing, I would recommend this movie to more older, mature audiences, mostly people 18 and older. I felt, though, that the, that the characters really worked and they were casted well. The only bad thing was John Ritter, being that he was always a good actor, I felt he didn't really have that big of a part that he could have had. He could have had more. I felt Bernie Mac's character was really funny, and some of the scenes that I thought were funny was when Billy Bob was walking out of the mall and the security guard asked him if he has any uh, stolen merchandise in his pants because they look baggy. Another scene I enjoyed was when Billy Bob, Tony Cox, and the kid all go to the the boxing gym because uh, Billy Bob is trying to teach the kid to to have some guts and stand up for himself against some neighborhood bullies. Rob, how did what did you think of this film? Um, well, I, I really enjoyed the movie. Um, and one thing you got you didn't mention is that it's a dark comedy. And you know, the dark people may and yeah, people may not get into this movie because dark comedy is definitely an acquired taste because of the lead character that Billy Bob Thornton plays, his name's Willie. He's not sympathetic, he curses, he takes anger out on people, he doesn't care who you are, he doesn't care if you're a kid, or if you're the manager at the mall like John Ritter's character was, he does not care, he's not sympathetic. Um, it was funny, but I thought the film kind of overdid, in all honesty, I thought the film kind of overdid it on the swearing. Sometimes I thought it, it felt like it was there just, just to be there, you know, just for the sake of swearing, and I think they pushed it a little bit too much there. Yeah. I mean, and I, I, I swear, swearing must must be and make, swearing and making it funny must be an art form because I've heard people have curse words come out of their mouth, but here, every time Billy Bob Ford or Tony Cox swears, it's just hilarious. It must be an art form at all. Yeah. Well, I mean, there there is three different versions of this film. Also, yeah. there's the there's the regular rated R. There's the unrated and there's the director's cut. Yeah, yeah, and uh, the version we saw was the unrated version. Right, so that's why there was so much more swearing. If you watch, if you watch the one that was in theaters, there's probably maybe a lot less, and it's some scenes are like cut down on the raunchiness. Yeah, perhaps, and um, that kind of leads to my next point. Um, the the problem, the biggest problem I had with this movie as a dark comedy is I think the last act. Billy Bob Thornton's character mellowed out just a little, a little bit too much. I mean, he still has the same personality, but he mellowed out. He's helping the kid out and um, kind of has a change of heart, sort of. But um, And I think the, how the movie ended, it ended too much on a happy note. I read, I haven't seen the director's cut, but I went online um, to see what was different, and apparently all the happy stuff is out of the director's cut, and it ends on a somewhat 
darker ending. I think that if you're going to do a dark comedy, you know, go dark, have the same tone throughout the whole movie. I mean, I don't know if that was something the studio wanted, but some, I know there's been some dark comedies in the past that's been compromised because they're afraid audiences might not walk out of it a bit disappointed at how it yeah. ended. Like Maybe a, they were thinking since it was like a Christmas film, they wanted to put the happy ending in there just, just for the sake of... Christmas and yeah, everything. Yeah, perhaps. I mean, this movie, if you're planning on watching a movie with your family while dinner's cooking, th th this is probably not what you want. No. want especially if you're a, a happy family that loves this time of year. You know, get something like Christmas Carol where Scrooge goes through a change or something like that. But Bad right. Santa, I mean, they even though Thornton kind of mellows out, he does. he's still the same person. He doesn't change that much. Yeah. Um, no, but I mean, Bad Santa, I thought it was a, it's a funny movie. It's definitely not for everybody. It's not, definitely not a film to watch with your grandma. Yeah, or the, or the kids, you know. A very funny movie. I really enjoyed it. So. Yeah. All right, so that's our take on uh, Bad Santa. So um, feel free to leave any comments on the video or on the movie in general. And thank you very much for watching. Have a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. And also, next week there will not be any, there will not be any segment due to... Uh, the holiday so we'll, we'll see you next year yeah we'll definitely be having some more videos posted next year so we'll see you then